Watch this Spider-Man thing. The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. It turns out traditional media isn't dead quite yet. <laughs> Hi, David. Just found another Hammerhead hideout. Please, be careful. I will. So, what happens when we get all the caches? Put some stamps on them and celebrate at Eddie's Pizza? <laughs> Eddie's, yes. I will miss that place. He's not going out of business, is he? Please tell me he's not. <laughs> no, no. It's just... Uh, it's nothing. And do not worry about Shane. I will take care of it when the time comes. <laughs> Great conversationalists. Back home, I was a math teacher. I wanted to open my students' eyes to the possibilities beyond our village. Even when the rebel uprising began and people started leaving the village, my students still came to school. And yet, if I had known what was to come, maybe I would have acted differently. It happened in the morning, right as school began. When nine of them, all with automatic rifles. They asked for needles, but I would not give any. The patients wore out. They raised their rifles to shoot me. And that's when she came in. Who? Silver Sable. She took out their own bag. She saved me. And the children. And that is why I owe her my life. Oh. For a heartless mercenary, she's sometimes almost likable. Sometimes. That's it! He ain't getting out of here alive! You sound angry! Must be the lack of sunlight! You're gonna get worse than that!
Those humanitarian supplies should be around here somewhere. Time to find that stash of humanitarian aid. There are the supplies. Okay, David. Found a bunch more supplies here. I'll send you the location. You are doing a great thing. Each supply cache could save hundreds of Simkarian lives. Why Simkaria, if you don't mind me asking? I merely wish to help the children of Simkaria, as I once failed to help those who relied on me most. Thank you again for finding those supplies. I will come by to get them soon. Hmm. Huh. Sounds like David's carrying around a little guilt. Like most of us, I guess. Entrance to his hideout must be some that's my way in. <laughs> Hi, David. Think I found the last hideout. Great work. So, I was thinking, maybe we should store the caches at a local police precinct. Just for safekeeping. I would prefer to still guard them myself. I get the sense you're not telling me something. I had a work visa with Sable International. It became invalid when I quit. <laughs> That I did check right now could be immediate deportation. I merely wish to finish this one task, and then I will go. Maybe I could help you with the whole immigration thing. Do not worry for me. This was my choice, and I have no regrets. <laughs> it's the spider again! Come on, guys! Just hand over the humanitarian aid and nobody gets a foot sandwich. Hi, MJ. Can I ask a huge favor? Sure, what's up? Remember that story you did on the shortage of teachers in the city? Well, I know someone who might be a good fit. If he had a visa. I think some of the supers are offering H1Bs based on credentials. Send me his info and I'll call around. Stay out of our Guys, no more calling for backup. 
My toes are sore from all the face kicking. Break to restock our gadgets and mend our costumes, please? Oh, gotcha. Done and done. Now, where are those supplies for David? There they are.
David, the final supply caches are secure. Thank you. I will take them all to the Simkarian Embassy and make sure the aid is delivered. Let me know if there is anything else I can do to help. I will. And thank you once more, Spider-Man. Guess that's it. Hope MJ can pull some strings for him. Hey, David. What's up? Spider-Man. The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Huh. Must be underground. Guess it's time for some urban spelunking. <laughs> That's a new smell. Yuck. Hope I find Sable before the fumes overwhelm her. If I can get through this without getting wet, that'd be a win. Hello? This is so cool. Whoa. Look at this place. The amount of work it takes to make this city run is just crazy. I'll never take fresh water for granted again. Okay, let's see where this leads. Looks like some loose bricks up ahead. Nice. Okay, onward. Hammerheads, guys. They've taken over an abandoned subway platform. Gotta take these guys out, then look around for Sable. No snoring now. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before the city finds out how we're leeching off the subway. Then what? There will be some palms in the Make sure we let them know. Maybe. You're in timeout. Why do you keep that? Because it doesn't look like you know what you're doing. the situation. So? Nah, depends on your perspective. To my kid, I'm a hero. Yeah. Stop! Who's there? Well, the jig is up. Better make this quick. Ah! Found you, Spider-Man! <laughs> Spider-Man! I see you! This is gonna hurt! One needs a nap. Okay, that's all of them. Now, I bet if I follow the power cables, I'll find where they're holding Sable. Hope that's not a load-bearing subway car. Nice. Okay, follow the yellow wire. Ah, tunnel's blocked. But I think I can still squeeze through. This just took a turn. What happened with this one? What do you mean, what happened? He died inside the thing, like the other guys. Who was it? The Gotta do this quick, and then find Sable. Okay. And you're done.
place looks like their main base of operations. Project Olympus. These. I told you, I just helped manufacture these things. I didn't design them. Guess we got the wrong guy then. On the bright side, now we got our first test subject. No! No! Don't! Don't turn it on! Please! Just give me a few minutes. I can figure it out! Now that's what I like to hear. Wow. If Hammerhead gets his hands on this thing, we're in serious trouble. That cop almost killed me. I thought you said I'd be indestructible. I said almost indestructible. After all, you're still human. Then make me less human. I'm... I'm not sure what you mean. I mean what I said. Now get to work. XRT-89. Subterranean Troop Deployment Vehicle. That's the real name? <laughs> I'm sticking with Dig Boy. Sable jetpacks. I'd pay good money to see Hammerhead's guys learning to fly in these things for the first time. I should have a look around, see what I can learn. Belongs to Sable? Yeah, most of it's overseas, though. What are you thinking, boss? I'm thinking about how she took over the whole city in a matter of days. You mean back during that Devil's Breath thing? Yeah, that was crazy. Not so crazy when you got the right equipment. Well, we got those digging things. Not good enough. If we want the best stuff, we're gonna need her. Yeah, okay. How are we gonna do that? Just keep taking her stuff. She'll come to us. Sable. Sounds like she's close. High voltage wires and sewer water. What could possibly go wrong? If there's one takeaway from this underground lair thing, it's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors. Ah! Every minute I am here is another nail in your coffin. <laughs> you got spirit. I like it. I will never give you... back for me. Why? Because I need you. No. I work alone. I used to say the same thing. I know what's happening in Simkaria. I know why this means so much to you. You think you know, but you do not know. What can I do to make you trust me? Look, I think I know how we can take down that monster, but I can't do it alone. Damn it! He let her loose! Okay. 
Here's the plan. Good plan. You said you could defeat Hammerhead. You, uh, know you left me hanging, right? There are medical records in here. Yeah, mostly about that metal plate in his head. Carbon steel. Super strong, pretty sensitive to... Heat! I have an idea. I, uh, solemnly swear to, uh, do whatever you tell me to. I will call soon. Ow. But, yeah. Guess I'll do some spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? with all the yellow stuff. Huh. Is this some weird street artist thing? A police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work-related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. I guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Then what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts. But some... Something tells me I'm not gonna find a chest full of gold at any... Hey, David, what's up? Spider-Man, I have the supply caches and I'm on my way to the embassy, but I think I am being followed. Where are you? I am not sure. I am... David! David! Hold on! I'm on my way! Hammerhead's men knew David would be alone and vulnerable. I should have seen this coming. Hang in there, David. Another police report, and another audio recorder. This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. But tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Mm, typical day? Guess it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see who the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. 
I can try to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon. Then dinner and I... Sorry, um... Can you go back for a moment? What does... Do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Get quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia Enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say, you help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, but I never really understood what she meant. Okay, you know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah. After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! David, he's in trouble. Gotta move. Hi, David. You look like you could use a little help. Is it me, or is the world a little brighter right now? I'm just gonna bask in this good feeling for at least the next few seconds. Or until something else bad happens. I am ready. Meet me at my base. I've been meaning to ask. How exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right, good talk. Why is she always hanging up on me? Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. We probably just got disconnected. She could be waiting for me to call her back. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Ugh. Logic takes the fun out of everything. Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So what do you think, Doc? Well... 
Clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> you're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Whoa. You want to get right to it? Okay, then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. Better take a closer look. Lots of police tape and equipment in these scenes. Whoever's doing this must have access to this stuff. I remember Yuri telling me about a drowning here. She was suspicious because the victim was a competitive swimmer. On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring the, um... Hope oh, this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. My boss and I are only interested in one of them. And who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. Gotta be somewhere nearby. Another setup for me. Another file and recorder. Reports are flying in about an incident in Midtown involving, you guessed it, Spider Man. I think there was a hit and run here recently. The victim was set to testify against one of Hammerhead's men. But of course, police never found a suspect. In the last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. This everything? Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Well, we'd like you to record her next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. Is that gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these, and yet I can't stop. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. We don't need you here right now, right? I hope whoever's leaving these has a good reason. I remember this. A person got electrocuted accidentally, but the victim had ties to Hammerhead. Yuri tried, but couldn't find evidence of foul play. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got him. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get him. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Trying to. But? I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. 
But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. I think I'm close. And there's the trademark yellow. The recorder must be around here somewhere. I remember Yuri saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning, I think. On the last one, Yuri sounded frustrated. You have no idea. That's it? Yes. I mean, we talked a little bit about her medication, but... When is the next session? Why? What are you going to do? I'm gonna do whatever my boss does, Mega Oh no! Are they setting up a hit on Yuri? We've gotta get to those other locations! I'm getting close. This is it, folks. This is the big one. <laughs> I finally have proof. For years, I have asked my dear listeners to send in photographic evidence to prove once and for all that Spider-Man is directly linked to the very criminals who plague our city. Finally. Finally. One brave anonymous caller has delivered the goods. We have clear fo- Police ruled this a suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. These case files are getting more and more recent. This one happened just a few weeks ago. You seem nervous. Yeah, well, the chief knew I was working undercover with you. I can't afford to lose my job. Maybe I should be the one doing breathing exercises. Well, isn't that interesting? Don't worry. I won't tell if you don't. Also, you're doing great. You're a very authentic looking doctor. Thanks. I think. You think he knows you were wearing a wire? If he does, he's a hell of a good liar. He's a Magia enforcer. We know he's a good liar. Question is, does he know he's being lied to? We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. You sure about all this? We catch him in the act of trying to murder a police officer, he gets put away for life. Yuri, what are you doing? I have to find her. I think I'm close to the last crime scene location. Yuri's been here. Now where's the file? Someone fell to their death from this ledge. It was ruled an accident. But was it? Hey, Captain. You ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm all wired up on my way to the office. Just picking up a coffee first. Okay. Drinks are in me when this is done. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Captain. Yuri suspended, but she still won't give up. Hard not to respect that. Hi. Can I just get a large coffee? Hey there, Don. Who's that you were just talking to? Oh. Listen to that! Call from an unknown number. Hello? Hello, old friend. Yuri? Meet me at the corner of Madison and 23rd. We need to talk. Wait, wait, Yuri! Ah, she's gone. With all that's happened to Yuri, she must be beyond hurting. She doesn't do anything without a reason. So why did she lead me on a grisly crime scene tour? 
She must have a lead on this enforcer guy. It'll be nice to see her. Maybe help her deal with whatever she's dealing with. Magia Enforcer. Dead. And the case files from all his victims. This guy killed all these people. But does that mean he deserved to die? Yuri! I know what you're gonna say, but just hear me out. The system works most of the time. But there are times when it doesn't. And to me, that's unacceptable. Some people put their trust in fate, or karma, or whatever. But I can only trust me. You can't kill people, Yuri. Apparently I can. And you know what? It felt good. You need to turn yourself in. For what? I just dispensed justice. True justice. And I restored a little bit of balance to the world. You're my friend, Yuri. I don't want to come after you. You do what you have to do. And I'll do what I have to do. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Yuri! Tom, what am I gonna do? This all makes sense now. What Yuri did to Hammerhead. She's been struggling with this for a while. She's always held in her emotions. That must take a toll on her. But she's also the most tenacious and stubborn person I know. This was a bad guy for sure, but killing him? That's too much. This invisible floating fortress thing. But now that all of New York City has seen it, Hammerhead will probably be here soon. I am counting on it. So let us work quickly. Okay, what's first? Pull the housing array into place. On it. Ah! Whoa, nice laser. Housing locked. Done and done. We are not done. Oh. We must reset the targeting field aerials. Sure thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Exit the hangar and navigate to the top of the nearby transmitters. Alrighty. So we should talk about the strategy with Hammerhead, don't you think? What is there to talk about? We find him. Then focus the laser on the plate in his head. The laser will heat the carbon steel to critical temperature, which will rearrange its molecular structure. And soften it so I can knock him unconscious. I get that part, but how do you know it won't, uh, melt his brain? When the wolf attacks the sheep, he risks getting shot by the shepherd. Okay, well, shepherd, just remember my no-killing rule, okay? 